going guys so we're back at camp my buddy is down right down around there judging with his high banker and right now he's beating on something let me turn you around and show you who i got i brought a fire <laughs> no <laughs> i brought a skyler show your face show your face show it show it your face feels so weird right now. It just feels so weird. So, uh, my idea for today is to find me a little spot somewhere <clears throat> and use the, I think it's called the River Hog. It's the bigger of the Gold Mountain Green Traps. At Joseph Fields, <coughs> um, right there is the website. So this is what I think I'm gonna go run for a little while. Um, see how it goes out here. So um, I'll bring you back. Go to Tom'sGoldDirt.com to get your fix for gold. At the checkout, be sure to enter Crow at the discount code to get your 5% off. All right, so I believe that I've kind of got it running about right. You see that? Um, I got a good V right here. Well, it's not where exactly it needs to be, but it's about middle right here. Um, it is bouncing around so Joseph if I've got something going on wrong here let me know it fills up pretty quick but I'm thinking that it, it is that it is exchanging <coughs> so I'll let you watch me run a little bit more of this bucket I've already ran some and I'm about at the end of this so I don't know how it's gonna do. This is my first time bringing it out. And I don't really have a whole lot of water pressure right here. So, um, so we're gonna see anyway how this ends up going. The rest of this in it. And Skyler has joined us. really easy to uh what's i i guess once i find a good spot to run this i mean clean up is super 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 easy done take mm -hmm. the pin out you put it in after you block your water off um make sure there's nothing in there put it back in put the pin in and you're pretty much done
<laughs> so even though I don't have it probably where I need to have it um, let's go ahead and pan this little bit see if there's anything that I caught in here but as you see it did get rid of all the big stuff it's pretty much this size and down which is an excellent excellent idea just if I can find a good place to, to put it and figure it out <laughs> so another thing guys if you haven't gone and gotten any of the pay dirt from me um go on there um it'll be in the description below where to get it it's one gram bags 67 50 ships so um get it before they're gone um I'll, they'll be guaranteed at least a gram if not a little bit more and it's all from cons, um, my cons, personally. <clears throat> and I was just trying to get a feel for this thing, so all this material is just stuff kind of off the top. It's not anything deep. So I don't know that there'll be anything. I did a pen while ago and there was nothing in it, so. He did move that big boulder right there though. I see like two micro pieces. It won't even be on the camera. Yeah, so. Super, super, super small. But it did catch the little stuff as he, as he claimed. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find another place to put this thing. And maybe see if I can get it to go right. Um, and I may bring you back for that. I may not. It's going to be a really short day. The club had a meeting up here that we've got to go to here real shortly. So that's pretty much the reason we came. So anyway, I'll get back to you. Anyway, what's up guys? That didn't work out too well. I'm going to have to talk to Joseph and get the exact layout of how I need to do it. But I'm going to finish digging this right here out and uh, put my foot in it. Not this foot, but that foot. And... We are going to first time convert the high banker into a dredge instead of using my dredge or her dredge. We're going to use this as one because it's probably going to be a whole lot easier than trying to bring one of those down here. <clears throat> so ideally, if I can get enough water, and you guys are probably watching and will probably find out before I did that I'm not going to have enough water to do anything with. But... I'm still gonna try because in this little stream there's some nice little areas that I can possibly get to so oh we're gonna see how it works and if it doesn't work well then it just doesn't work well well I officially got it set up um, I had my motor up there at first but I need to recirculate the water because me and James are both running off the same uh, little tributary creek here so as it stands, if you want to show that, we are a 
artificially dredging it with the hammer. All right, guys, right here um, at the end of this pry bar, um, all this right here goes way back. These are deep crevices, really deep. And right now, this is all I'm equipped with. So I'm going to see if I can't get some something out of this. Oh yeah. Oh, that crevice is deep too. It goes way down in there. I'll figure out the best way to get this stuff out. So much material in there. Oh, it's real big. Ooh. 
So let's see if we got anything out of that little bit. Well, cameraman down. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come up there. She's an overachiever. I'm trying to get close so we can see. <laughs> we'll see when I get down there. Still a good bit of material in here. It's really hard for me to try to get anything out of there. I see a speck before I do anything else. That speck literally climbed up when I tapped. Well, that speck's all I got on that. So let's try some of these other crevices right here's another really good one and good thing about it you want to give them an angle from your point of view that's what i'm about to do the one i'm talking about right now is right here as you see all of this is just material so i'm going to start pulling all of that stuff out let's see if we get anything in there and then here's where i was pulling out earlier way back in through here and it was hard for me to, I need to bring a spoon or something like Polly does. That way I can try to get it all up. Here was another deep crevice. Another couple of small ones. Oh. Um, I'm going to try that and then maybe right through here somewhere. I'm going to try that for right now. Whoa, it goes way back. Way back. This thing goes back about this far. So maybe there's some gold hiding out back there. Look at the amount of material I'm trying to get out.
see if we got anything out of that little crevice. I'm not trying to get any closer this time. Yeah, just don't drop that. <laughs> We broke the tripod, so I am the tripod. We all on fast forward mode. Huh? Fast forward mode. I was pulling out these crevices. I got a little bit of a color change in my car right here. Yeah, I have a look at it this time. Yeah, I'll see, kind of sort of see it in the shade. Oh, that's cool. Camera, up here. I mean, that's what pointing at you. I don't want anything in that crevice that I could get out. So it's one to one versus me and the credits. <coughs> okay, now right here's a cool little spot where there's a crack in the bedrock that comes down this way and it's about this wide. So that would be a really good place for a piece of gold to fall and hide. I'm kind of breaking it away so I can try to get in there to it. Put all that in there. Rinse it off. And it never hurts to always, always check your moss. Some people will take their moss home and they'll burn it and then pan out the ashes. So, 
I'm looking right here and I see a speck of gold already. Sorry about that, but it is right there. Um, and it's not going to pick it up, but anyway, I'll bring you back if I find any, anything else. For a taste of Alaska, go to KeniGold.com and choose from pay dirts containing gold, copper, silver, and gems. Not to mention supplies. At the checkout, enter discount code CROW to receive 5% off.